Baby dolls and cutie pies, welcome back to you. Keep your back straight. We are following up. Richard Hart has left messages for the community and he's asked everybody to please send messages to the court. Now, they can be read and that you can influence decisions about the IRS and the corrupt SEC because they are trying to do rulings on the cryptocurrency and there is no precedent for it. So they really have to do it on the fly. And so here you have the post. I already made a video to mention it to you. Richard Hart mentioned we've only got 20 days left. So he mentioned it from the time this posted, whenever it was. I want you to know that there are community members working in the background to make sure that we all win together. That's why you like, subscribe, belly button, or we're here to shock the algorithm. We're all here as one big community of family and friendship. And so out of the goodness of his heart, one friend of the community, his actual name is Bro. Now, Mr. Bro has three messages, very long samples. You can find my posts. I will put it in the description. And what he's done is he's just to show you using ChatGPT. I think it's actually, it's another AI mentioned here. You can use it to generate a response. These sentences are crisp. They are clear and they are informative. So you can see here, DIRS officials. I'm writing to express my serious reservations about the proposed regulations concerning the gross proceeds and basis reporting by brokers. You can see there's a lot of a lot of these details going on that's super important for the crypto industry to flesh out. This is a fight for the crypto industry. Everybody combined, despite what the haters say, Hex, real DeFi, Pulse Chain, real DeFi, Pulse X, real DeFi, the community is fighting for all of the crypto industry together. And as a special mention, you don't have to be a US citizen to do this. Everybody is free to do this. And these are great comments to put in to show everybody's support for the court. Now, I know what people say. They're going to say, oh, but, you know, there's this one time where they put a lot of responses and they didn't win. The people who talk like this, losers or they're lawyers, the same thing. They're always just negative mindset people. I like to see everybody's strength, strength in numbers, passion, the community working together, everybody putting their minds to it because together we can achieve things. And look at this, the price going down minus 99% is not enough to deter us. This is the Pulse chart, PLS. Maybe you've heard of it. I wish it was going up. This is the Pulse X chart. Maybe you've heard of it. I wish also it was going up. Here are both the EHEX and PHEX chart together. Yes, I wish they were going up much higher than where they are right now but we're just going to have to let this whole thing play out. So please, friends, I encourage you, use this AI. You can ask it to just rewrite your sentence, make it look like it's from someone new. I mean, AI is kind of kind of amazing, all these things you can do. And, to do. and when we do this, we have all these inputs put into the court. The judge is going to have to rule it. Look, I was very skeptical too, but after the recent SBF, FTX court case stuff and Caroline revealing that the corrupt SEC as the regulator are working together to crush Binance and stab the industry in the heart, okay, now that it's out there, I hope that the judges can see this and they go, you know what, you guys are going to have to do a better job than that and I'm not going to rule in your favor. So, you know, it seems like the stars are aligning for us. I know back when the FTX collapse happened down here, you know, it looked like it was the worst thing ever, but this might turn out to be a blessing in disguise because the court case is now revealing just how disgusting the political affiliation and the government corruption is. And you want to know what else is disgusting, friends? War. Unfortunately, it's part of the human cycle. It's part of markets, part of life. <clears throat> Unfortunately, both sides are pawns, P-A-W-N-S. They're pawns on a chessboard. You know, I heard this saying, it's very true. If you have black ants and red ants and you put them in a jar, they don't care about each other. They just do their own thing, okay? They sit up with their back straight, they eat jelly beans, they, you know, do handstands, whatever. But if you shake the jar, then the black ants and the red ants will start fighting each other. You can see it right here. See these? They start going at it. This is exactly what's going on when you see this war. There is a higher entity. We don't know if it's interdimensional. We don't know if it's just humans doing their thing. We don't know who it is, okay? It's obviously a centralized entity. 
they're evil, they're psychopathic, reptilians, but this thing keeps happening over and over again. And people in the middle, they let their fear and emotions get caught up. That's why if you watch the media, when they throw those images in your head, you see, you know, burning buildings, you see death and destruction and lives being destroyed, you're feeding into that. That's why it's disgusting. Also, when this happens, it's inflationary. Governments print money, okay? They use this as a tool as well. Don't think everybody uses this, all right? War is inflationary. It's impossible to convince people to pay directly through taxes, okay? So, if, you know, you go to your people and you go, okay, we want to make you pay an extra 5% income tax this year to fund this war. They'll be like, get the hell out of there, 5%, get out of here. I can buy jelly beans with that. Instead, what they'll do is they print that 5%. That's why all the loans get given to the big bug institutions. And this is why you're looking at this chart here, stocks during war. The 10 years of stonk market returns following the breakout of US-involved wars. And guess what? Mostly it's up and to the right. Isn't that crazy, man? It's just wild. And on top of this war, unfortunately, look what they're doing right now. They're trying to blame crypto for the Middle East attacks. What they're saying here, you know, this is Hamas. We have their different approved exchanges. All this is a load of baloney, friends. This is all propaganda put up. Don't even look at this. This is all just trash. You know, this is all literally to get you to drop your guard and let them print money. You know that, right? That's all it is. He goes, hey, let us print money, which means steal from you to go do a thing. All right? That's what, that's what it is. Now, if they don't scare you, you don't want to spend that much more money, do you? But if they can scare you, you go, oh, how much do you need? Oh, yep, 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 go do it in. That's why it's very hard to absorb this information and not take a side. That's why I, I please, I'm begging you, just please, just keep your pants on. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button and all. I'm here to tell you, okay, don't pick a side. Your brain, your soul, we're going to have to make it together. If we get worn out by these useless trash propaganda stuff, we're not going to make it. Look what they even say. Hamas militants behind Israel attack raised millions in crypto. Yeah, what about the billions of dollars in US cash? I mean, all of this is just fake drama stuff put in to try and incite whatever freaking evil they want to put in. And don't forget this, okay? The war is not meant to be won. It is meant to be continuous from George Orwell himself. I mean, the more things change, the more things stay the same. US bond prices rising. You're going to start to see this stuff. It's going to be quite spooky, friends, okay? You don't see these things happen. You don't think that this is so weird how this is all playing into playing into it, each other, right? So when the pieces of the puzzle fall together, it makes sense only when you look back and go, okay, I don't know who it is. I don't know what it is, but I just know there's a scam going on and we're all being played for fools. That's why this is a game you can't win, all right? That's why, friends, we have to do what the rich, wealthy bug eaters do, okay? They allocate their capital. They spend their useless fiat trash. They allocate it to assets because they know that eventually, just how they turn the war on, they're going to push the off button later on. And guess what? Then they're going to return to a bull market. But guess what? They've already allocated during that time. So don't forget, there are things we can lean on, friends, you know. I mean, Mr. Silvertooth, for example, is back. I actually had to put breaking news here. <laughs> Mr. Silvertooth got some plants to brighten up my living room. And I even put a firmer little sticker here. Some green pumpamental plants. We've been waiting for the return of Mr. Silvertooth. I did not think it would be so swift. You know, miracles really do happen. I even made a special mention here. Welcome back and stay forever, please. Because we're seeing a lot of this junk going on, friends. I mean, one year ago, FTX was the crypto leader of the whole industry. And now you see Caroline talking in court, the sex scandal, the political bribes, the corrupt SEC chugging all that soy milk going down all the corruption, the tentacles. You wonder how we're going to make it out of this alive. But we are. We are. There's all these leaks of all the texts going in. They're speaking about their dating issue here. Ellison, we started sleeping together on and off in the summer of 2020. By the way, I very apologize for putting that image in your head. Okay? <laughs> but we dated and we broke up. Right? So all these things are coming out. It's disgusting. But it really does move fast. I mean, less than a year ago. I mean, literally, less than a year ago, they were just on top of the world. And now here we are. I want to remind you of something that in one year from now, things we consider important today will be just literally a fart in the wind. Okay. There'll be literally nothing. 
nothing to nothing to show for in the future. That's why don't don't get yourself riled up. All these people with their opinions and their memes and everything being thrown out, it really does mean nothing, friends. I promise you. That's what everyone's going through is FTX stuff. They're going through, they're listening to all these, you know, the, the back and forth going on. Did you get any loans from Alameda? I got one loan of three and a half million for a gambling company that people at FTX wanted to put my name on since I wasn't on the books at FTX. You see how everyone's trying to grift, friends? Everybody with money is trying to grift. All the exchanges, all the people, everywhere. That's why the bull market only comes once we have the spear or spare. Finally starting to push up. We need Bitcoin to show us the way. And with that, we've got to remember, we've got Jim Cramer bearish. We've got Mr. Silvertooth back. He's back. We've got Richard Hart saying it's okay. Okay, so we're here waiting to see if we can finish with a nice October, October, right? All of these, we're praying for that. But don't forget, it's the Bitcoin halvening year. That's the real one, okay? At the end of the day, that's what it all comes down to. It's going to be that sweet, sweet Bitcoin halvening year. I don't know why. It's just something happens, something magical happens, okay? But, you know, that's that's really what we're playing for, friends. I know. I wish I had more formula, more science going on, but you're trying to measure up. You've got to throw a war. you got the FTX Ponzi collapse. you got the corrupt SEC. you got all these things being thrown on together. We've got all these interest rates, all the bond prices moving. How do you compute it? It really is just so much simpler to go, you know what? I'm basing my decisions off time, and that's why we're not freaking out yet. If you can still afford, increase your core positions of your coins, of whatever it is you want to accumulate. But for the rest of us, we're going to simply wait and hold. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button all, and catch you next one.